Well, it's been a bit since I've done a uh, update on my uh, home arcade setup I got going on, and since that time, I've recently picked myself up a uh, dedicated uh, centipede cabinet. So I'm going to do a real quick video of just kind of walk around on it and a uh, few little things about it. Um, one thing, this is an all original cabinet. Um, everything you see in it is from the uh, 1980s, including the screen, the marquee, and even that crappy looking uh, control panel overlay that's kind of cracked. Um, this will be getting replaced with a, a repo on it because um, I mean, this one's in not bad shape except for where it wears out the most here. I'm going to fix that, but I got to take the uh, old uh, control panel overlay off and sand it down, paint the uh, the metal under there so it doesn't rust, and uh, go from there. Um, this side, as you can see, let me rotate my camera. The side art is in pretty good shape on this side. Um, I have little areas where I need to touch up on the white here and fill in a few little dings and you know that type of stuff but no big deal on there the artwork itself um i've got a few of these lines where you can tell where it was next to a, another cabinet where it's scraped a little bit which i'm going to uh just try my best at uh freehanding those since it's pretty simple in there and i should be able to clean it up um got the uh, original uh glass overlay and the original cardboard uh bezel around it um, I was going to replace that, but when I took it apart, the bezel looked really good, so I just tacked it back in there. Um, original uh, Electro Home uh, Geo 7 uh, screen in there that was dead when I picked it up. I did a recap kit, flyback, replaced the hot, and also my horizontal coil because that one was broken in my um, when I got this. Uh, and I've just adjusted it for as much as I can on getting the screen centered, both sides even on there, and it looks pretty good. Pretty much went with the already burned in image, so it kind of matches when it, um, so yeah, it, it looks like it should. On this side, this is my bad side. This is why you're not, not seeing this. Um, this one's got a lot of this awesome um, oil pencil type graffiti, which I'm not worried about. This I know how to remove pretty easily. Um, let me turn my light on here on my camera if I can. Well, the camera's being a bit of a pain. But, um, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but somebody in their infinite wisdom decided to spray paint white on the centipede eye here. And a little bit of black back here that just ran down. Um, it's pretty, pretty thick, so I'm hoping, um, I've got some, uh, special graffiti cleaner that's not supposed to harm any sort of paint or whatnot. I'm hoping I can get it to get the spray paint off real quick, uh, dilute it down with water after I get that off, and hopefully save this uh, side art. Because other than the spray paint and that stupid sticker there, this side art's in even better shape than the other side. I would like to keep it original if I can. Um, worst case, if I can't get this removed, I'm gonna, yeah, strip this all down. Um, and then paint this back to white and get a new remand uh, vinyl for it. But I'm going to try my best to save it. Uh, I think I might be able to, but we'll see. Uh, other little things on here. Um, just got done rebuilding a trackball. This is actually the original ball. It was in good shape after I cleaned it. It was pretty nasty looking. Um, rebuilt the bearings in it because the bearings were fine. They just need to be cleaned out and oiled. I do have new rollers. I haven't installed them yet. Um, these ones weren't in bad shape, but I replaced them anyways. Uh, original uh, LED uh, start buttons here that I need to take out and clean up just a little bit. They're a little dirty on the inside. Original leaf switch that I went ahead and just cleaned up, uh, cleaned the contacts and readjusted them on that. Um, coin doors original, just had to replace bulbs, no big deal. Uh, marquee is the original uh, glass marquee. Um, all I had to do on that to get it fired up was it was a bad starter. So, you know, I had one of those laying around, no big deal. Um, just today I rekeyed my uh, my locks here um, because when, it, when I got the, uh, the cabinet, it didn't have a front coin lock and the back um, had a snap key off in its lock. So I just went down to Lowe's, I think spent like four bucks on the locks and got uh, a set for it. Well, that, that's the cabinet. Um, it plays really well. All the, uh, the the hardware parts of it, besides the monitor, were in good working order when I picked it up. Um, just had to do some adjustments on voltages, things like that. You know, crap you need to look at once in a while on these machines. But uh, other than that, it plays really well. I'm working on trying to get my scores up there. 
And for now, this is where it's gonna gonna be. Um, I'm not planning on doing too much restore work on it right now, just because of weather. Um, when spring and summer comes along, I will uh, be taking coin doors off to repaint that. Um, control panel or overlay will be taken off, repainted. Uh, marquee holders, I'm gonna maybe redo. Um, the paint's in pretty good shape. There's some little rust spots that I might just clean up on the other side, spray it with some uh, primer and not worry about it. Um, clean up a little bit of the rust on the, the uh, screws and all that type of stuff and repair some of the dings and scratches. But uh, for me, I'm going to get this looking good, but not, not museum quality, I guess you could say. Make it look presentable, look like it did once in the arcade, but not necessarily out of the box new. Um, so yeah, with that being said, that's that's my centipede cabinet uh, and my uh, my other machine, my main machine that got me kind of into the uh, arcade hobby again. Is got uh, pretty much is the same setup as my uh, videos before. I haven't really added or changed anything except this uh, PC area where I've got some PC uh, shooter games for my light guns. Uh, just got a uh, access panel for it to just clear that up and make it look more like a arcade cabinet. Other than that, that thing's been rocking. I really love that system, but you can't compare anything to a dedicated. So that's my little quick walk around. I'll um, probably talk more than most people care to listen, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, feel free to ask me any questions if you want to kind of get into this hobby or anything. I don't know a whole lot on the dedicated side, but I am learning as I'm going and um, you know, trying to make friends with people that do it here uh, where I live. So pretty soon I'll, I'll know my I'll be able to hold my own, more or less. But yeah, thanks for checking out, and take it easy.